everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to unbox an advent calendar from ASUS. It comes in an acrylic case that you can afterwards use for storage. In the first box we find serum by Bear Minerals. This is a vital power infusion that doesn't have too much fragrance in it. I tried some makeup products from this brand, but this is my first skincare product. It feels very good on the skin. The skin absorbs the product quite quick. In the box number 2 we have Emma Hardy Purifying Pink Clay Detox Mask 15ml. You can find this size on the official website and it costs $21. I'll leave the link to this product in the description. I love to use clay mask in my skincare routine and I'm definitely looking forward to try this one as well. In the third box we have a sheet mask by Dr. Jard. I always have some sheet masks at home and try to use them at least once a week. I also like to put them for 10 minutes in the fridge before use. It feels really relaxing. In the box number 4 we have a gel-based moisturizer by Clinique. You can find this size on Sephora. I'll also leave the link below. It feels really nice on the skin and it doesn't have strong fragrance. I believe it's very good to use when your skin is dehydrated. Next one, box number 5. And here we find Face Cleanser by First Aid Beauty. As for me, cleanser is a very important step in everyday skincare routine. I can skip tonic, serum, cream, but I always wash my face with cleanser. For me, it's never too many cleansers. This one is a fragrance-free, gentle cleanser. I can't wait to try it. In the box number 6 we have a quartz roller by Psychic Sisters. It's a small one and perfect for travel. I have a bigger version at home by a different brand. I don't use it every day. The time when I definitely like to use a roller is after I use a sheet mask. It's a nice addition to the evening spa. Next box is number 7 and here we find the first hair product. This is 5-in-1 Styling Treatment by Living Proof. I have exactly the same one at home that I either received in one of the beauty boxes or I got it from Sephora as a year's birthday gift, not quite sure. This product smells so good. To be honest, I don't use styling products too much, but if I need to use one, I'll definitely use this one. We are getting closer to the middle of the calendar. And here in the box number 8 we have a charcoal clay mask by Regions. I haven't tried this mask yet. As I told before, I love using clay masks, but I cannot use them too often. Maybe once in a 3 weeks only. Saying that, I'll probably use this one throughout the whole year because this is a full size. You can find this on Sephora. I'll leave the link to the product below as well. In the box number 9 we have pillow spray. It smells very strong, but the smell is calming. We had the smell in the living room even next day. I wouldn't buy it by itself because I prefer to use oil diffusers or candles. However, it was nice to find it in the calendar and try it. Number 10 is a quite heavy box and we find here tonic with vitamin C by Neat Plus Fab. It has very nice, not very strong smell. I haven't tried this brand before and I think it will be nice to start my friendship with this brand, with this tonic. Overall, I do love products with vitamin C and right now I use vitamin C tonic by Pixi in my everyday skincare routine. We are almost in the middle of the calendar and here in a small box number 11 there is a small toothpaste. It looks like a sample. I wasn't excited to find it. Only because a few months ago I bought a full size of this toothpaste and I wasn't satisfied with it. It is a creamy toothpaste. 
in a strong mint flavor, but nothing special for me. If you haven't tried it before, it's a good chance to try it. Number 12, and here we have a hair product again, Leave-In Treatment by Avida. This is a full size, quite expensive, it protects from heat styling. Next time, when I use a hair dryer, which I don't use too often, I'll use this product to see how it works. We are finally in the middle of the box and here we have Pro Collagen Marine Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream by Elemis. To tell the truth, this cream was the main reason why I decided to buy this advent calendar in the first place. Elemis as a luxury skincare brand in the UK and I wanted to try it for a long time. It doesn't have any fragrance, but it has delightful and lovely, very very subtle scent. In the box number 14, we have two products by Sunday Rayleigh glycolic acid treatment and serum with vitamin C. Both of these products are sample size. Usually I like to try something using sample or travel size first before to buy full size product. As I've already mentioned, I like products with vitamin C and of course I'm looking forward to try this one as well. Next one is number 15 and here we have a multi-purpose Soothing Balm by Dr. Paul Paul. It's a thin red balm, so you can use it for lips or cheeks. Not sure if I use it for my cheeks, but lips, why not? In the box number 16, we find Serum by Shiseido. This is a sample size. The smallest version you can buy is 15 milliliters. This one is just 10. The serum is very light with a subtle rose scent. I like that this scent is not strong. I haven't used it yet, but this is a very famous brand, so probably I'll like it. In the box number 17, we finally find first makeup product. This is a travel size mascara by Too Faced. It is a nice mascara, easy to use. If you haven't tried it before, it's good to try. In the box number 18, we have another makeup product, which is Primer by Becca. This product is 15 milliliters and you can find the size on Sephora. I'll leave the link in the description below. If you want to make your skin look glowy and shimmery, it's a good product to use. I would not say that this is for everyday use for me, because it has glitter in it, but I'll definitely use it for special occasions like upcoming Christmas. In the box number 19 we have a brush by Spectrum. I think it's for highlighter. Well, it's always nice to have an additional makeup brush. We are almost done, just four more left. Let's see what we have in the box number 20. And here is a primer by Laura Mercier. You can find this size on Sephora as well. This primer is already for everyday use and perfect for dry skin. It helps the makeup to stay longer throughout the day. In the box number 21 we find the lip treatment by Indeed. You can find this size online, I'll leave the link below as well. This is a very nice lip balm that moisturizes the lips. I haven't noticed any volume, even though it says volumizing, but overall it worth to try. In the box number 22 we have eyelashes. To be honest, I don't have too much to tell about it because I don't use them at all. However, if you like eyelashes, you'd probably be happy to find them here. We are almost done. The box number 23 
is very heavy and here we have a caffeine solution by the ordinary, full size. It helps to reduce appearance of eye contour pigmentation, according to the description. To be honest, I'm not sure if I use it, because I don't have this problem. If anyone used it, please share your experience in the comments. And finally, number 24. And here we find the lipstick by MAC in the shade Marrakesh. I believe this is a great product to find in the end. I think this lipstick will be perfect to wear during long holidays that are coming. Overall, I believe it's worth to try this calendar. It has a lot of full-size products. I do like that you can find a lot of skincare products and makeup products as well as hair care products. Also, I like the box because I think I can use it later. Yes, there are a couple products that I will not probably use, but most of them I'll definitely try and use. My conclusion, yes, it's worth to buy it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Bye bye and have a wonderful time!